Dave's Dance. It's Monday, June 15th, and we just got done watching Dave. Um, it's getting a little bit less painful, thank God. Yes, it is. Yes. I don't get all choked up anymore. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because, you know what? This is a soap opera, and we just want to unwind, and we don't want to be, like, at the depths of despair every night. At least that's what we tell ourselves. But the mm -hmm. truth is, we do. We want to be rolled up in the turmoil and the chaos and the sadness and the drama. So. Sammy tells Will the truth, and Will doesn't like it. Lots of truth telling today. Yeah. Rafe tells Ariana. Yeah. Well, now everybody's got to tell everybody. So. Right. Right. Who, no. who, let's go to Rafe real quick. Who okay. is Emily? Emily Hudson. Hudson. Yes. She's dead. Which means Rafe had a very tragic moment in his life. So is Emily the baby of some girl that he got into the same situation with? Or I think that Rafe might have been like so in love with this girl he was a little stalkerish or something. Could Emily be um, Grace's could Emily's son be Grace's father? Yes. Yes. That's what I this think is the most be, likely outcome. This could be Mia's partner's mother. Correct. Which means Grace is the Rafe is Grafe? Rafe is not to be confused with Reef <laughs> is the grandfather. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So we're going to find out. In our, oh, Ariana stalking Brady. Oh, God. Uh, Brady's got more women. He, I mean, he can't even, what's the saying? He can't even shake a stick without him and women that, that want him. Melanie throwing himself at I know, Brady and, and Ariana. I his mother's crypt. I mean, God, I've done a lot of crazy crap in my pursuit of guys, but I have never shown up at somebody's crypt. Yeah, more serendipitous stuff that Days totally relies on. So, anyway, EJ finally goes to the mansion. We've been waiting for that. Oh, but not kill. Not the real explosion I was hoping no. for. I posted on this just now on daystalk.com, and I have to tell you that um, everybody's been saying Ari deserves an award, and Ellie, Ellie deserves an award, and James Scott deserves an award. Well, Nicole's lines were crap. I don't. I have nothing against her as an actress, but I am so mad at the writers because I was in love with Nicole. You know, I wanted to play Nicole on the soap if I ever got a chance, and they have ruined her character. Yeah, she was a lot cooler when she was boozing, and it doesn't make any sense that EJ's m wife and father wouldn't have had one single sentence worth of a thought about, oh, gosh, EJ is yeah, really was, sad right now. They didn't even mention it. There was no empathy towards EJ, you know, Nicole going on about like Sydney. like he came home and said he failed his test or something. His driver's like, test. They're like... Yeah, there's no big deal. Hey. Oh, you know. sorry. She didn't even, like, take him in her arms and embrace him or anything. You'd think he would, like, crumble on the couch just... And finally being able to let it all out because he's home and... Well, you think Nicole would have, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know. I mean, yeah, like, like oh, my God. and you think they might, Nicole, like, yeah. I don't know, like... That's Sammy. It She's up to her shenanigans again. Sense. Yeah, it was and not... And that one word about, I thought the huge storyline was going to be, are we going to let EJ go through this pain? Yeah, it was not a great scene. I don't know what the hell. I, I blame it on the writers. Oh, yeah, I do, too. It was not that great, so I'm hoping that they're going to you know, work their way out yeah, of this. Yeah, I don't know how. They, they That was the golden opportunity, and they yeah. blew it. And, and, you know, they've done such a good job so far with this storyline. I don't really know what the hell. They, they kind of dropped the ball. Yeah. So Nicole panics, goes to Stefan. What am I going to do? And Stefan is like, hey, chill out. That was kind of cool, him being like, if it weren't for the fact that EJ just came home and said his daughter died, if it was just her usual insecurity about Sammy, that was cool how he would talk to her and was like, you're the one. You've got to put that in your head. You'll be the one if you think you're the one. But yeah. in the context of how it happened, that wasn't really good. Now, I like that little chat between EJ and Nicole. Where it's yeah. Like, uh, you know, I, I was deluding myself. What did he say? 
Oh, yeah. I was in love with Sammy, but now I'm ashamed that I ever yeah. loved her. Yeah, uh, that's serious. When you're ashamed for having loved somebody, that's is. serious. So those two are getting tight, but not for long. So, so speaking of screw-ups, Stephanie? Uh, Salem PD. Yeah. Good job. Owen has escaped. You really shook Stephanie down, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, if you can't get the truth out of Stephanie, you should probably hang it off. So Victor and Philip convinced her to lie, and she did. And where did that get you, But Stephanie? you know what? If, if Sammy can marry EJ, the man that raped her, just to end the vendetta, then why can't Stephanie tell one lie? Yeah. I mean, everybody acted like Sammy was a saint. Sammy's not a saint. But Stephanie is. She no, was pure as like, a white driven snow, no, for God's they, sake. They acted like when she got married just to end the vendetta that she was just such a wonderful oh, person. Oh, for doing, for taking so the she, bullet. So here's Stephanie trying to end the feud. And, uh, I gotta tell you that um, JB and I used to we have a little toast every time we said vendetta, and I used to get drunk like, during those scenes. Say you used Seriously. to say vendetta so much, it would, it would, it was like nails on a chalkboard. Do you so, remember that? Yeah, I remember that toast. So what the hell is Stephanie going to do with those pills? Is she going to get hooked? I don't know. Well, I thought she was, but I don't know if she's going to have time now that Owen... Uh, is she going to use them on Owen? Or is she like exactly. freaking out because she had drugs when she was in the mortuary? And yeah, that's uh, what I think that's what what's going on. So, so Owen's gonna friggin' do something for her again, it looks yeah. like. So tender moment between Sammy and Rafe, they said I love you to oh, each other. I thought they were break huge. I thought they were breaking up. But Sammy's they, like, Get out the door, Rafe. They haven't said I love you yet. And we all thought that was kinda crazy how yeah. they hadn't even said that and they're talking about adopting and all that, but that was awesome. Doesn't normally happen that way, but No. They, uh, they had a little moment there, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they're not going to break up. No, they said I love you, now they're tight. But don't you think long-term they are? What's your theory? What, what, what's, what stance are you taking? Breakup? Runs into Minicoles? Not sure now? Well, I do think Rafe's going to be on the show for a long time. Yeah. But who will he be with? Nobody wants to see long-term couples. They don't. Could there be some kind of a pact between Nicole and Rafe to somehow? I gotta think about that one. I don't know what's gonna happen with them. Will and Mia. They had a little oh, yeah. kissy kissy. Why the hell did you turn your face, Will? I, I don't, I can't explain that, but I was hoping he'd go in for like a real kiss. Yeah, and then he like turns his cheek and Mia was ready to plant one on you so don't do that again no. god don't I know you're upset yet. really um EJ gets a haircut oh yes. yeah previews barely remember what he was talking about but I noticed he finally got a haircut thank god yeah and Owen and Steph we talked about that Brady and Nicole oh, Nicole and Brady she's like he's never gonna find out <laughs> Yeah, until uh, Victor tells him. Until what? Until Victor tells EJ what Brady told him, in my theory. Oh, okay. Yeah, that hasn't happened. So. I know, I don't care. Okay. There's, and... there's real world and my world. Okay. <laughs> and then Maggie and Mia. Yeah. I'm not who you think I I'm am. I'm bad. I'm bad. You know, having a baby doesn't make you bad, Mina. Good girl. That's some tough crap to do. And she gave that baby to a good home. Oh, yeah. She thought. Nicole. Her baby's dead now. It's not because of her. <laughs> no. It's nothing to do with her giving her baby up for adoption. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. So, are they ever going to give Bo and Hope a storyline? I don't know. Hope was looking a little bit... Gaunt. Just comes I, to mind. I, I think that... I, I don't know if maybe she has an eating disorder. You don't think? I think she does. She's got a neck that is like, <laughs> hold on, this long. She's like a giraffe that 
that hope. We and don't her, feel and she looked about like that, though. Her face is like sunken in. Jimmy, you're it's not the, being nice. I love her, but... I love her, her too. Don't listen to him if you ever see this. No, okay. I'm just... Somebody throw Hope a sandwich or something. I know, because you're beautiful. A you box are, of crackers, anything. A slim fast. Okay. You were beautiful when you were on in the 80s. Yeah. And you weren't There's some meat to grab yourself. on. Yeah. You're, you've always been beautiful. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. What do we always say? The couple that watches stays together. Stays together.